what's the next class? The next the next one is the is the man. It, it's the heartbreaking. You got Ro, uh Derek Rose and uh Westbrook. Well, this class is crazy because all these guys are my high school high school graduating class. So I'm the same age as uh, most of these guys. I'll just say with Rose to get him out the way. Um it's it's crazy. I wasn't the biggest fan of this game, mm-hmm. but I enjoyed the way he competed. I'm sorry. I'm just uh, I tend to like guards that can shoot. I, I just always are going to be a sucker for guards that can shoot. We didn't really get to see him develop. Um, and I would just say I'll focus on his latter part of his career. The fact that he did come back. Um, I damn near had tears in my eyes when he scored that 50 points and I watched him cry when he scored that 50 for Minnesota yeah. because I just appreciate guys not giving up and not quitting. But going back to what I saw, um, we were on our way to see something special. It would have been good to see it play out. Mm-hmm. His teams was consistently being number one seeds for back-to-back years. And I just think it sucks that it went out the way he did. Um, but salute to him for making the career he did. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. But what we was looking at, he was going to have something to overcome, being a yes. guy that was under 6'6". Six, six. Mm-hmm. But he was looking like what I talk about, one of those guys that you could build around. And we just don't know how much farther that would have gone. But right. he did was looking like I could put pieces around this guy and possibly make something happen. I would have loved to see Carmelo go to that team. I would have loved to see him play with Carmelo. I yeah. did when Carmelo uh, – but Rose was injured too during that time, so you don't know how that would have happened. But we knew it would have happened. <laughs> so that was yeah. the only thing. Yeah. Um, as far as Russ, one of the uh, most frustrating guys I've ever seen because – I'll put it like this. As good as he is – I don't think he ever went out and actually learned how to play basketball. Mm -hmm. He just went out with his raw ability and he competed at the highest level. He got MVPs. He has a finals appearance um, that should have went to the finals in 2016. Yeah. And some of that may have even been on him why he did it. But I just would have loved to see what would have happened if he would have probably learned some of those other parts of actually playing basketball. But I'm not sure what well, we've seen it. I don't think Russ is a guy though, that you could have built around because even when he got Paul George and Carmelo, they went home in the first round and back-to-back seasons. Yeah. Uh, as far as Derek, man, I, I would have loved to have seen Chicago understand that he needed to be surrounded by shooters. Yeah. And, uh, and him not be injured and see how that played out. Now, obviously, you had the heat out there. <laughs> um, and yeah. it still would have been still would have been tough, but I would have loved to have seen him be able to play like that uh without sustaining that injury, man. It was it, it, it hurt my feelings when I saw him hurt. I was like, oh man, it's over. Like when he went down, I, I was like, it's over, dude. Um, so I don't I don't blame his I don't blame him for not having the success because obviously he wasn't physically uh, up to it at that point. Westbrook, I gave Westbrook a pass early so often because in high school, he played the two. And in college, Collison played the one, if I'm not mistaken. It's hard to get to the NBA and then they'd be like, hey, you a point guard now. Like what? Yeah, now you a point guard. Figure it out. And so for, that's for, a testament to how talented he how is. How talented so. he is. That's just a testament to how talented he is and how much of a competitor he is. Yes. You play and learn point guard on basically the fly. Yes. And I also look at it, and I think it's crazy because he's, he's compromised now. But prime Westbrook was insane. I remember watching that Warrior series. He went up for a layup. Missed it, and he got the rebound and threw like an assist, all in like the same motion. Yeah, it was just crazy. Like if you go back and just watch the highlights of that 2016 Western Conference Finals, 
and that uh game when uh Steph won it at the uh buzzer during the regular season. Yeah. That was just some high level basketball between those two teams. Crazy. And I can understand why people were felt robbed when Durant left. Because those guys, man, it was just high level basketball on both sides. Yeah. And um a lot of that was Westbrook. But yeah. like I said, unfortunately, his inefficiency to be an efficient scorer was a detriment to his teams. Definitely in crunch time. You know what's crazy? If Russell would have been like I'm going to focus a little less on grabbing these rebounds and I'm going to play yeah. defense because I have better physical tools than all of the point guards in the NBA. If you combine my wingspan with my quickness and my strength and my jumping ability, I'm going to play D. His scoring average would have went up. Yep. That was another. Been out on the break more. Yeah. Yeah. I just did, that was like, another knock for me. Yes. I felt like no reason he shouldn't have been an all defensive type player. That's a fact. And yeah. I think that comes from not being coached early. Because yeah. who they man, who do they have? Uh Brooks. Brooks. Yeah, Brooks and Carlissimo. I'm like, dog, he needed a structure that somebody that allowed him to still be him, but uh, that a rainy man. You know what I'm saying? And he never got what that. Is, but what annoys I, me with these guys though, like I mm-hmm. get that argument. We can hear you, bro. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah. Um what annoys me with the Westbrooks, it seemed like those guys buy in and they play those roles when they're with Team USA. And then it's like they get to their own teams and don't do that. No way in hell that Westbrook shouldn't have just been an all-defensive player or even in a running. But let's be honest. He is more physically gifted than Marcus Smart. No way in hell that he shouldn't have had a defensive player of the year yeah. if Marcus Smart got one. Yes. Yeah, let's be real. That's the, <laughs> that's the thing about it. That's that's the thing that irritates me. But Westbrook has to be judged on the top tier level because he, he played at an MVP level for multiple years and actually won MVP. And because of that, we gotta we have to he's played right. with Kevin Durant. Yeah. James Harden. James Harden yeah. again. You get Paul George, Bradley Beal, uh, uh, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. The common, look, logically, the common denominator is you at some point in time. And because you're on an MVP level, mm-hmm. you have to, that has to be a ding on your, on your legacy as far as where we rank you at. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my bad, Dre. Uh, you got to um, put your thoughts on Curry and then Rose and uh, Westbrook. I kind of did. I kind of did Curry already kind of when he was off. But uh, um, I get on Westbrook. Uh, I don't know. He just he just uh, like he top 75 player, well deserved. Um, I don't know what to say about Westbrook. Westbrook just he, he played. One thing about him, he played hard every single night. Which you mean he played hard when he got then, the ball? Um, like you said, it's just the defense for me is the only thing. He said, "What? You mean he plays hard when he has the ball?" It's, it's, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, his defense is the one thing. And I was like, "Dang!" Like he could have did more. But Derrick Rose, I don't have nothing bad to say except he was injured. I just really, I really think it's injuries. He went to the Western Conference. I mean, they was uh, they won 61 games a year. He got hurt, and they lost to the Sixers. People ain't about to tell me that they would they would have made it. You know, it, the Heat would have been tough, like you said. But yeah. yeah, I don't got nothing to say really much about Rose except for the injuries, man. Yeah. Yes, it on those really bad. Well, next up is the Slim Reaper, KD. KD. <laughs> um, I just 